You're I doing look forward it. to you dodging you're the question it. again. You're doing Go it. ahead. You're doing it. You're yep. doing it. No, you. So, no, you. No, you. You. This program is brought to you by Honest Abe Rifles. Next time you go hunting and or you shoot someone by accident, shoot them just like Honest Abe got shot. That's right. They'll be like, don't tell them John Wilkes Booth sent you. He didn't get a Lincoln gun. He got a eye shot Lincoln gun. That's right. Now he can say, I shot Lincoln, but he didn't shoot one with a Abe Lincoln gun, Abraham Lincoln guns. We built it out of Lincoln locks, just like his lock cabin. And then we added wed to it. That's right. Abe Lincoln rifles. Pick one up when you get your Second Amendment license. No, you! Abe Lincoln rifles. Pick one up today. And Kill someone just like Honest Abe almost at once. Yeah, that's right. No, you. Are you kidding me, law enforcement? Are you kidding me? Tonight in Grand Rapids, multiple law enforcement officers stood behind Donald Trump as he spoke. People that are elected officials like sheriffs, others hired to protect and enforce the law for the entire citizenry, not for a political party, explicitly forbidden from being a partisan authoritarian police force standing on stage, entirely unethical, probably illegal, on top of which Donald Trump has been indicted 91 times. He's liable for sexual assault. His entire business was found to be fraudulent. And law enforcement has the fucking gall to stand on stage with him. Enough is enough. The two white dudes stood up. One of the most common questions I get on the street or online is, am I really Alex Jones or am I Bill Hicks? I've decided today to go ahead and reveal my true identity. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This information is going to change the world. Are you rolling? You ready for this? I can't believe it's come to this, but they cornered me. I've got to be honest. It's gotten too big. I've just got to admit it right now. Okay. Okay. This is just really hard for me to do. I've been doing this so long. It's, it's hard to give up give up on the character and go back to who I really was. You got me, okay? Are you happy now? You bastards? Yes, I am Bill Hicks. Or to be more accurate, you didn't get it all, did you? You didn't get the full conspiracy. I played the character, Bill Hicks, for 15 years with my accomplice, Kevin Booth, and we fooled you all. The master actor, the master genius. And then I decided to bring forward an even more incredible persona, that of Alex Jones. But here's where the rest of the story comes in. For 20 years, I've been Alex Jones. Since we staged my death in the early 1990s. The truth is that Bill Hicks himself never existed. And now I'm going to reveal my true identity. After close to 35 years in a fake persona of one type or another, I'm going to revert to my original true self, raised in London, England. I am David Mendelssohn. To be quite clear, David Mendelssohn III, the master orator, an expert of every form of Shakespearean art but also the ability to physically take on the aspects of the personality or character that I am becoming. I am 78 years old, but only appear to be 45. Yes, there's some prosthesis and makeup involved, but overall it is the skill that I bring, similar to the great Shakespeare, able to write 
in voluminous volumes that the public could not believe that one man was able to contain it. But at this point, I now go forward as David Mintelson and am announcing my true self and will be arriving in Hollywood, California next week for an official press conference to be held at my manager's offices where I will hang out my shingle and prepare to dominate and become the number one Hollywood actor in the world. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the whole world is a stage and each of us players upon it. And now you know the Alex Jones, Bill Hicks conspiracy in truth is deeper than you thought. So good job, chaps. <laughs> You've caught some of it, but not all of it. But in truth, I left little clues here and there to convince you <laughs> to make you research deeper until you found the ultimate truth. Now you have it. Is it not sensational? Is it not dynamic? Texas Monthly and other publications could not even begin to understand the true nature of the giant fraud we have wrought. But until my press conference, I will now assume the behavior of a character I fashioned after Yosemite Sam and John Wayne, the pumpkin head, Alex Jones. And until the press conference, that will be it. And again, if you're watching this transmission, you are the resistance. I carried on the charade for more than 15 years. Kevin, don't mess me up. <laughs> Known as Bill Hicks, I carried out the fraud for my accomplice, Kevin Booth. <laughs> stop. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Stop. Black people are going to save America from Joe Biden. You think so? Okay. We got tricked. He's weakened at Bernie's, bro. You literally re-upped on the most racist practice in America, gun control, mm. as the black people started buying more guns than ever. You said, we're going to send you to jail for 10 years. Fortunately, the Supreme Court was like, what? You are bugging. You speak to black people as if you literally own them. If you don't vote for me, you ain't black. What type of fucking... It's amazing. Yeah. It's the level of entitlement and audacity. Mind you, you're the same guy that crafted the criminal legislation, mm -hmm. criminal, to send many of these black men to jail in the first place. Black people are going to have to save America from Joe Biden. This show is brought to you by Bill Clinton Viagra. Pretty soon you'll be saying, I did not have sexual relations in no time. With Bill Clinton Viagra, no you. I can't stop getting erection. That's right, I've got Bill Clinton Viagra. Just in the offer code online, say no you. You can't stop getting erection. You've had one for 10 hours. Bill Clinton Viagra. Yeah, that's right. Okay, it was. Uh... Oh my God, what was that? Jesus, I don't know, man.